Hi everybody, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is David, this channel is Demars Coaching and I'm gonna make a video today. I'm gonna to talk about unlovability. How toxic people, narcissists specifically, are unlovable. I've made other videos about the topic of did they really love you? Do they really love you? And the answer typically is, you know, maybe they loved you in the way that they know how. Maybe they believe they love you. I don't know. I think we all have different definitions of love, but unlovable. What is that? I'm going to get into that. I'm going to try to explain to you why I believe people with narcissistic personality disorder are completely unlovable. They cannot receive or give love. And I'll tell you why. They're never allowed to be vulnerable for one. That's where it started. Or they had bad experiences when they were vulnerable. Vulnerability is risky and dangerous and never, ever do it. It's like a pact they made with the universe saying, I will never, ever, ever be hurt again. No one can ever hurt me. And I think of vulnerability as a risk for reward. They don't see that. They don't see the value in that. Shame. They carry shame. What is shame? Shame is I'm a bad person. Guilt is I did a bad thing. We, we can heal from this easy, right? Some time, friends, tell people, do your, 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 your uh, punishment, apologize. But with narcissistic people, guilt can turn to shame. They don't have a very developed self. It's what's called a fragmented self. An underdeveloped self, only a developed ego, I guess, if you will. Narcissistic children have been ridiculed and criticized or promoted to advance their ego and never be held accountable. So everyone is capable of giving and receiving love, but not all the time. Maybe not all the time. I have been unlovable. I've said this before, and I'm sure all of you watching this video at some time in your life have been unlovable too. I could not love myself. I could not love others. And I would not allow others to love me. I was unlovable. The worst time in my life. Now, I show people how I want to be cared for and how I need to be cared for as I care for myself. I show them. My self-respect makes others respect me. How much can you respect a hardcore drug addict? Could you respect someone who shoots heroin every day? Someone that, that does it on the job and steals on the job. Could you respect that? Can you respect that person? It would be very difficult, wouldn't it be? And they don't have any self-respect. It's how they care for themselves, and it's how we care for them, isn't it? One thing I've learned is people who do not know who they are do not care who you are. They'll put you on a pedestal, they'll misrepresent you, and they'll tear you down. None of it is who you are. Proof, what would they say about you now? They say bad things, you're a horrible person, you did this and that, and it's nothing that you did and you're not a horrible, they don't know you. It's not who you are, they don't know you. We may feel unlovable when we focus on the past, that's what we do. We focus on the past, past tra traumas and past negative experiences we've had. Our brain is wired to focus on this, to feel this rejection. But we have to cure it by being positive. To ourself, the relationship we have to ourself, being around po people that are positive, not people ridiculing you, criticizing you, abusing you, neglecting you. Narcissists can't do this. They have zero relationship with their self, none. They hate themselves. I don't care what they say. I don't care how they act. I don't care if you guys say, oh, no, 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 my ex loved himself. He was so enamored by himself and, and so selfish. It's overcompensating. We tend to allow others to measure our self-worth. And we can't do that. It's self-worth. Has nothing to do with other people. 
Once we do that, once we allow people to do that, it lowers and lowers and lowers. We determine and decide our own self-worth. And one way that we can do that is by introspecting, looking at ourselves, taking personal inventory, accepting flaws and mistakes that we want to change. Narcissists will not ever do this. That's why they don't apologize. That's why they don't say, I'm so sorry I did that to you. I'll never do that again. They say, I didn't do it. You made me do it. And they do it again. They cannot look at themselves. They cannot accept the bad parts they don't like about themselves. And that's where change begins, isn't it? If I were to tell you how to love yourself, I would say you have to accept you, all of you. And you have to do it unconditionally. I would say you have to forgive yourself unconditionally, no matter what. You have to care for yourself, give yourself everything you need and want unconditionally, no matter what. And you have to love who you are unconditionally, no matter what. And narcissists cannot and will not do this ever. And if they cannot love themselves, they are incapable of loving anybody else. And they're incapable of receiving love from you. That's why you couldn't love them. That's why you tried and you tried and you tried. And it was like chasing them around the room if they're even there. They will destroy the part of you they claim to love. Everything they said they loved about you in the beginning, they'll make damn sure to convince you you're none of those things in the end. Even when it's over, they won't stop. They'll smear you, they'll be obsessed with you, They'll post things on social media. They'll contact you and tell you how bad you are and bad you are and bad you are. And all of that, all of that says how bad they think they are. I can accept bad people in the world. I don't have to focus on them and torture them and harass them. You're a bad person. Okay. Somebody that just continuously, continuously tries to convince you that someone's a bad person. Really, really hates themselves. They're incapable of loving. They didn't love you. They don't love you. And they're not going to love you. They're not going to love anybody else either. As long as they keep focusing on other people and how bad they are and not looking at themselves, not changing the things they don't like and they can't accept about themselves, projecting it all on to you. Narcissists are unlovable because they don't love themselves because they cannot accept love from you and they will not care for you unconditionally ever, never. Anybody that believes they are capable of loving and being loved, let me know why. Let me know why you believe someone with narcissistic personality disorder loved you or that they love you now. I'd love to know. Because if they did, then they must not have narcissistic personality disorder because it's too contradicting. Narcissistic personality disorder is a disorder of hatred, a disorder of shame. It's a personality disorder. It becomes who they are, a shameful, shameful person that they cannot accept and they will do everything they can to convince you that it's really you. If any of you feel that you're unlovable now, know that you can change this if you want. And it's starting to look at you. All those things I said, accepting who you are, forgiving yourself, loving yourself, giving yourself maximum care, everything that you need and you want. If you don't know how to do that, you need help, which we all do in our lives, find it, get it. It's available. It's out there. Find a therapist, find a counselor, find a professional coach. Okay. You're worth it. Show the world that you're worth it. Be lovable by loving yourself, healing yourself, taking care of yourself. If we have things in the past that we feel bad about, let's feel good about them and move up, move forward huh? and be lovable. Thanks, guys. Always ask questions. I'll always answer them. Always love yourself first, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.